Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Steve here, back with a short tutorial video. Huge shout out to Ram on my Discord server who told me this secret method for installing shaders without Optifabric. So without further ado, let's get into it. There's multiple reasons why you may not want to use Optifine or Optifabric, but the big one for most people on my Origins SMP server is because Origins Plus, the mod, uses Satin API, which is incompatible with shaders. There's loads of mods out there that use Satin API, so odds are that's probably why you're here for this video. Today we're looking at a mod called Iris Shaders. This mod has its own installer, but in my opinion using the CurseForge download is a little easier to understand. This mod basically lets you use shaders with almost any fabric mod pack you're playing. So the first thing we're going to do is obviously download Iris Shaders. From what I can see, it's only version 1.16.5. Um, if there's newer versions out, that's great. Just make sure it matches the uh, Minecraft version you're playing on. From there, we're going to try and find the mods folder. For whatever mod pack you're using, if you're using your own fabric launcher, you should know where your mods folder is. In this case, I'm using my official mod pack. Uh, you can try it out on the CurseForge launcher. And if you're into Origins, we have a dedicated Origin SMP server graciously sponsored by Bisect Hosting. The links will be in the description if you're interested, but if you use code STEVE at checkout, you can get 25% off your first purchase. Okay, hopefully you're in your launcher files or your mod pack files. Long story short, hopefully you have found the mods folder. Iris Shaders has Sodium built into it. If you do not delete Sodium or the Sodium mod is in your mod folder in any way, you will crash. That is the only complication you will run into with this mod. Sodium is built into Iris Shaders. Lithium is fine, Phosphor is fine. Just get rid of Sodium if you have it in your mods folder. Okay, so once you have Iris Shaders in your mods folder and Sodium deleted, hopefully I was clear about that, uh, you're just going to launch your client like you normally would. From there, I would recommend loading up a new world. Um, in the background, you're going to see me load into my Origin SMP server. You can configure shaders from the main menu if you want to, and if you maybe have a slower computer, that might be a good idea. But regardless if you're on the main menu or you're inside a world, the directions are the same. So you're gonna to go to video settings and you're gonna see a new interface and it should look like this. You should also see a tab at the top called shader packs. You wanna click that button and then you're gonna open the shader pack folder. You're gonna drag and drop whatever shaders you want. Just make sure the shaders are for the right Minecraft version, obviously. In this case, the mod pack is 1.16.5. So the shaders are also 1.16.5. Once you've dragged and dropped your new shaders, press the refresh shaders button and you should see them in your client. You're just gonna click on the shader you wanna use. It should become highlighted and then you're gonna press the done button. I tested my FPS before and after using the shaders. Um, I used BSL shaders, which are kind of a high quality pack but I was sitting at around 140 FPS before and around 80 after. Obviously, this is gonna differ depending on what shader pack you use. As I said, I think I'm using a pretty high quality BSL shaders. So if you're using a lighter shader, uh, you will see less drop off. And I think that's everything. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed or found this video helpful in any way, please consider subscribing and dropping a like on the video. Thanks so much for tuning in and I hope to see you in the next one.